Hey everyone, Tom here, coming to you today with another great video. This one we're going to be looking at the situation where you want to roll up the information from related lists into a parent account. So to give a very simple example, the one we're actually going to do today is a situation where I have a bunch of deals under account and I want to know how many deals I've closed on the account or what's the total amount that I've closed on that account. Another really popular one is if I'm looking at a deal and I have maybe some products or quotes under it, I want to roll up automatically calculate the amount based on what's in the quote or maybe a sub form or something like that. So that's another example, but we're going to focus on that first example in this video. So I'm just going to make myself a little bit smaller here now. So this is exactly the scenario we might be looking at. So we have these two deals here. We have, you know, one with test and one with Harry, but you can see they're actually both under the exact same account. These are the exact same account. And just to confirm, we'll open up this in a new tab just to be triple sure, but there should be two deals under this account at least two deals, uh, those ones that we just saw. So I give a sec, there we go, and I can see those two deals, perfect. And so now what the really kind of the question is, is gonna be how do we understand for kind of the activity that we've had on this deal? So I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna open up the workflow editor. Okay, so now I'm in the workflow editor here. So let's start constructing a workflow and it might not make total sense right away, but it's gonna start coming together. So what I'm gonna do, I've done it on the deals module. So if I'm trying to roll up the deals into an account, to do on the deals because if I think about it the trigger is always going to be on the deal so you know maybe you know when I close a deal I want the totals to update so my trigger is on the deal and so I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to actually say okay specifically on edit when either the stage gets edited to any value or the amount gets edited to any value and again this is going to make more sense of why I chose to do these two these two fields when we get a little bit further along so we're going to get circled back to this for here we get to basically kind of choose when it actually triggers so typically I almost always encourage you to do all deals because we're going to deal with some filters a little bit later but just in terms of recalculating when I want to recalculate basically most of the time when these two things change and so now I have this. And so really the trick in all of this is going into my custom action when I go into actions and specifically the advanced field update. Now, this is gonna give me a bunch of options, right? Some different things that we've talked about in different videos, but for this one, it's the aggregate field to look up. So aggregate just basically is a term that means taking a bunch of things and, and, and rolling it up. Basically, it's like a roll up. So we're gonna click that. And so what we see here, as soon as we click it, we have this step-by-step -step guide along the top that is telling us exactly how we're going to roll up all those deal amounts into an account. And so first thing, it's gonna say, well, where does it wanna go? We haven't actually told it that it's, we wanna go into the account yet. So we're gonna say account, aggregate. So what do we wanna do? So do we wanna do total deal amount or do we wanna do the average or the count or even max min? We support all these different, these are different types of aggregate, different types of roll ups. Uh, and so we're gonna use some. Right, why not? That's kind of the use case we're saying, total amount for all the deals. And then sum from, so this is saying, okay, well, what are we rolling up? So if I go back to the deal, you know, if I look at Tom's test deal, for example, what are we actually using? You know, we have a lot of different things like monthly cost one and all these different things. What I care about most is the amount. So that's what I'm gonna choose. So I'm gonna say, okay, the amount. Finally, just to kind of bring it all together, we're gonna do conditions. So what deals are we gonna be adding up? Are we gonna add up all deals? or is there's gonna be certain conditions. And typically what I encourage people, I mean, in this use case specifically is saying, actually, I only wanna do it when a deal is closed once. So I'm only adding up those deals that have actually been closed, actually been won. And so before I go to the final step, I wanna highlight that these two fields here are exactly the fields I have here. So that's kind of the trick to say, hey, make sure that all of your things that you're aggregating by and all of your conditions, these are your basically triggers in the workflow. So whenever any of these change, we might want to rerun it and kind of calculate these things. And so that's kind of the rule, make sure those match. And so then finally, what we're going to do is, okay, where does this go into? Total revenue seems to be a, a pretty good field. So now I'm going to hit save, just say amount to total revenue, that sort of thing, save and associate, and we'll hit save. And so now it's hanging out there, that's a live workflow. And so now what I want to do basically is come back to the deal and just re-trigger it, right? And if we remember, the trigger point was in either the amount or the stage gets updated. So let's do that. So let's come in here. I'm going to just do the amount. Why not? So I'm going to come in and I'm going to say 1250. Amount's changed. Whatever. It's just a test deal. And if I come over into my timeline here, you can see, uh, maybe if I just quickly refresh a second. 
Yeah, perfect. So you can see the sample workflow actually ran. The amount of total revenue for him, that was the name of my advanced field update. That looks like it ran. So that's really good. Looks like it worked as we expected on the deal. But the real moment of truth is going to be over here on Test Company. So again, this is all real time. Let's refresh the page and see what happens. Uh, very good refresh. And so if we did it properly, the total revenue is going to be updated. So let's see what it looks like. <clears throat> And yes, 1500. So right now you may be saying, but wait a sec, it wasn't at 1250 here, why is it 1500? But let's kind of take a real quick look at the deals. And if you remember, we had a condition and the condition was the stage had to be closed once. So even though we edited this deal, it actually only really counted this deal, this 1500, because that was the only one that was closed one. So now let's just say, you know, let's do another example where maybe this one actually closes out. So I'm gonna pause the video and do it just because we have some mandatory fields. Okay, so now I've updated that. And so now this is actually closed one also. So if we think about it, what should happen? So this is now showing closed one. So my total revenue should actually be 2750, right? If I add those two together. And so again, moment of truth. So the scenario is, okay, we just closed another deal with this account. That's great. We need the total to automatically update. And let's take a look and see it happen. Exactly, 2750. So really kind of applicable great use case and there's a lot of other things we can do with it so really kind of great we can count max all these different things and if you are interested in doing this yourself for your crm we use a tool for that that advanced field update is part of a bigger tool called west workflow enhancement suite and you can see it all right here if you just go to blueroot.ca slash west goes through basically how to get started all the things we can do why people use us gifts and that sort of thing to get you started and and it's all kind of right there some you know reviews from top partners so please check this out if you are interested at all we do have a 10-day trial just to try it out and uh, thank you so much for watching please if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and uh, really appreciate your time bye for now